The cat TH-357 can pick things up and move them. Turns out, it can do so much more. Here are seven uses for this dazzling Season Pass Phase 2 DLC truck. SnowRunner Phase 2 brings with it not just two lovely Yukon maps, you also get three trucks, one of which that raises the bar, lifts your expectations, heightens your satisfaction, stands tall- okay, that's enough. Yes, of course, I mean the TH-357 telehandler added to Phase 2. I was expecting it to be for the die-hard SnowRunner drivers who want to manually load and unload cargo, given that its purpose in life is to lift stuff up, move it, and then put it down again. I'd already read it was going to get its own mission as well, but this season pass truck is so much more. Now this is a public test server truck video, so please bear in mind that the finished product could change when it arrives as part of the public phase 2 release. However, even if it's nerfed, there's still much to say about it. So grab that official A Tribe Called Cars mug, fill it with tea, and get comfortable. Also be sure to like, subscribe, and touch my YouTube bell for more gaming content. Yes, as seen in my 10 cool things about phase 2 video, you can spin round endlessly on two wheels. Well, sometimes three. Simply put the telehandler fork in the air, steer left or right, and then bury the accelerator. Dubstep, Eurobeat, and drum and bass are of course optional, but strongly encouraged. Why bother with a crane when you can lift a truck on top of a building, then launch it off the top into a sideboard bed like some bad CGI-based stunt in a movie? Yes, it takes longer, and yes, the truck in question is basically destroyed. But it's satisfying and looks much cooler. Presumably, it will be possible to take this further and build jumps using the TH-357, or at least put trailers, trucks, and cargo in strange places, and then take a photo for the gram. Those 51-inch mud tires seem to be incredibly effective in SnowRunner because I've been cruising around Canada's flooded foothills for thills and Big Salmon Peak, Salmon Big Peak maps with as much ease as any other scout. For sheer exploration, it's an absolute beast. Just watch out for those forks as they can and will stick in rocks, at which point you're going to find it incredibly hard to escape without any winch points nearby. Fingers and toes crossed this issue is ironed out before launch, although you can just drive with the 4 cup. Originally, I was hoping for some weird unrealistic glitch where I could use a TH-357 to lift another TH-357 to lift another TH-357 and so on until I've created the tower of Telehandler and I can bask in my own glory slash genius. Sadly, SnowRunner has accurate physics, so you'll find yourself struggling to pick up an as of 73210, or the new Cat 770G rock hauling monster, but the Chevrolet CK1500 is fair game, as are most scouts and some smaller trucks, and this random Harley Davidson that I still can't really drive. If my internet wasn't so bad, I would have used the TH-357 as a knight and done multiplayer jousting. The rules are simple, everyone has a TH-357 telehandler, and you can choose which one of the two fork types you use. The winner has to stay upright, that's it. But my internet is rubbish, so here I am explaining it instead. Not quite the same, admittedly, but there you go. Let that imagination run wild in fields of wheat. Maybe this is a me problem, but the rear steering means I sometimes get confused which way I should be turning the joystick, especially when reversing and looking backwards. This isn't a complaint, more of an observation. <laughs> this isn't a complaint, just more of an observation. I'll go get my dunce's hat. And lastly, as with all Caterpillar trucks, there is a very specific colour selection. It's yellow or yellow. There's also only one wheel option, one tyre option, and that's about it. Not that I expected much from this licensed truck. Then again, the 745C did have a few more tweaks. In fact, the TH-357 is limited in general, but in this instance, I don't think it matters, given all the other lovely stuff I've just mentioned. So is the TH-357 any good? Absolutely. I really hope it stays as it is now, because the TH-357 is bags of fun, useful for messing around, and actually a very capable exploration vehicle. Which it shouldn't be, but there you go. Yet another thing to look forward to in Phase 2 of SnowRunner. 
Got any other ways to use the TH-357? I'd love to know, so hit me up in the comments and be sure to like, subscribe and buy merch. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.